Hey everyone, it's Jason Dunn here from Windows Phone Thoughts, and I'm doing a video to show you the initial setup and desktop sync experience. Now I'm doing this one day before the official Windows Phone 7, kind of everything launches officially. Uh, so I'm hoping that this is gonna work, fingers crossed, but if it doesn't, that is the reason why. So I have my uh, Windows Phone 7 uh, device here. I'm going to um, the uh, I'm gonna connect it via a, a micro uh, USB cable. As you can tell, the uh, Windows desktop software is already running, so I'm just going to go ahead here. I'm going to plug this in. So now it is connected, and now on the desktop, we're just going to kind of watch what happens. So it's uh, installing device driver software, um, and it's going to take probably just just a couple of seconds here. Let's see if we can pop that up. So as you can tell, what it's doing right now is it's um, installing. Uh, device driver software so I would assume after you know maybe five or ten seconds here we'll have um, uh, Windows the Zune software should identify it so this is Zune uh, desktop software it's, uh, the Zune uh, 4.7 software uh, and so you need to have 4.7 software in order to synchronize uh, with a Windows Phone 7 device. Now I should point out right now that it's searching Windows Update. In the background I'm actually uploading uh, one of my previous YouTube videos on Windows Phone 7. When I'm uploading YouTube videos it essentially kills my network performance uh, and so anything that inv that anything that, it, that involves internet access gets brutally slow because I have yet to find a router that's actually smart enough to uh, ration bandwidth properly and not use essentially 100%. Okay, there we go. Now, let me zoom out here just for a second. Now, that's the screen we get. So normally, that would be a much faster process, so don't think that that's the way it'll be for you. So as you can tell here, uh, we have um, the start information. Uh, I'm gonna just click on next, which is down below. Uh, it gives me an option that says, you know, what do you want to name your phone? I'm just going to be, you know, boring and leave it at uh, the LG prototype name. Remember, again, this is uh, this is prototype hardware. This is not final hardware. So uh, it's 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 checking for updates. I'm just going to show you this here. Now, this is really important because, um, and I'm pretty sure I can talk about this now. <laughs> now that the NDA is officially over, Windows Phone 7 is unlike any other form of Microsoft product insofar that it updates basically like a Zoom HD, okay? It does not update like a traditional Windows phone where you have to wait for an update from the operator and they may or may not release it or you wait for it from the OEM. The whole process, obviously, it has always sucked and it's broken and awful. The new Windows Phone 7 process, it works like this. You have your phone, you connect it. If there is an update for the software for your phone, um, which there should be a regular cadence, it comes directly from Microsoft. It downloads using the Zune software and you don't have to do a hard reset. So essentially all the pain points about previous phones are, uh, are completely gone, okay? So that's basically it. Now, Let's take a look at what it's telling us here. So basically it's saying, you know, hey, uh, what, what do you want to sync? Click on collection above to see the media on your computer. And then it says to sync, drag and drop things to the phone. So, okay, well, yeah, pretty straightforward. Here's a bit of a letdown though. Well, there's, there's, there's two kind of things worth noting here. The first is that it's telling me that uh, I only have, you know, basically six gigs here. Again, this is prototype hardware, but one of the things that's unfortunate about Windows Phone 7 is that currently out of all the phones that have been announced, none of them are shipping bigger than 16 gigs. So there's not gonna be any 32 gig Windows Phone 7 device right out of the gate. I'm hoping that's gonna change, but for now, that's basically it. So the sync experience, uh, basically I can go over here and I can, I can look on the phone and these uh, these are the media types that are actually on the phone. So right now these are pictures that are that are on the phone. If I want to, um, let's just say I have the uh, I have a Maroon 5 album here and I want to synchronize it to the phone. I basically I just drag it and I drop it onto the phone, and then that's it. It's it's going to synchronize. So I can go over here to uh, my phone, and I can go over here to music, and then boom, uh, it looks like. Yeah, it's like 60, 70% done, and then that's it. So now all that uh, that music and that album that I synchronized over, it is now on my phone, right? So really, really nice and easy. Um, if I go over here to, let's say, collection, and I go to, let's say, uh, pictures, and I want to 
um, you know, synchronize. Let's say I have some I have some of my album art. So let's say I want to grab. Uh, actually, let's say I'm going to grab all the album art here, and I'm just going to drag and drop it down in the lower corner. Now, boom, that's going to synchronize over again. Uh, really, really simple. And it pops up here. There's actually a little message up here that says. Uh, did you know that pictures from your phone can be uploaded automatically to phone photos.live.com? So that's kind of cool. Gives me some information that I didn't have. Here's what I wish that they would have done with Windows Phone 7. And I really wish this with all my heart because I begged for them to add this feature. I spelled it out to someone on the Zoom team in exquisite detail how it should work. I'm going to show you uh, sync groups, okay? Go over here to phone, summary. Let um, me see, view sync options, sync groups. Sync groups are this incredibly powerful part of the Zoom software that basically nobody really knows how they, how they actually work, or very few people. Okay, so um, I should probably do this in a separate video, but I'm gonna kind of just whip through it here um, uh, real quickly. I'm going to I'm gonna create a sync group, okay? I'm going to um, I'm going to create a new group. So I, I just clicked on new group. I'm going to say uh, recent photos. Okay. Now I'm going to say I'm, I want you to sync from my. Um, okay, I'm totally baffled. Uh, it's actually it's actually not letting me do my pictures. Uh, I'm really confused because it should allow me to select from my pictures. Well, let, let's let's do this a different way. Let's just say uh, recent um, music, okay? I want all artists, um, I want to include everything, but what I want to do is I want to say, uh, I you know, I want this to include um, basically all music that has been added, uh, all music that has been uh, tagged as, as being um, 2010, and I want to I want to click on no limit so it gets all of it. So what I'm doing is I'm basically creating sort of a a, a smart synchronization option. So what it's going to do is it's actually going to it's actually going to pull over. Boy, that's pretty boring. I'll show you nothing on the screen. It's going to pull over um, a whole bunch of new music. So as you can see here, so uh, this is my phone. So this is the LG phone. These are the albums on it right now, and it's automatically going to pull down all the music that I've purchased that has come out in 2010. This is obviously really powerful stuff, right? What's kind of weird uh, and pretty frustrating is that the Zoom team didn't think to do something like this automatically because wouldn't it have been great if when I first connected my phone, I got, let's say, the last you know 90 days of pictures, so I have all my recent pictures. Let's say I got the last you know 30 or 60 days worth of music, so any recent music that I purchased, and let's say you know maybe the past week of unwatched videos, like you know TV shows or whatever. If it had done that automatically, I think that would have been a really really powerful synchronization experience, and an average customer plugging in their phone would have got a super super powerful, like a really impressive experience. Now they plug in their phone, a couple minutes later they unplug it, and they say, oh my god, all my pictures my videos and my recent music is here. That's friggin' awesome, man! The Zoom team didn't do that. The Windows Phone team didn't do that. Instead, they went with this not great uh, process, which I find pretty frustrating, but hey, they're Microsoft and they don't always listen to people that have ideas outside the company. So, um, that's basically about it for, uh, for, for the desktop sync. I mean, I, I guess what's important, um, I'll zoom in up here. Right now, you see there's a, a marketplace. If I go over here and I click on apps, you'll see apps for Windows Phone 7. Now, I'm not too sure what's gonna load up here. Again, this is slow because of what I'm doing with YouTube in the background, so don't judge this uh, too harshly. But what's, here, here's what's kind of interesting, right? There's now, there's now devices and you can actually toggle between uh, Windows Phone apps and Zoom HD apps. Um, Oh yeah, sweet apps for Zoom HD not available. I've been seeing this for week, for like about a week now, and the Microsoft people keep saying that it's fixed, but clearly it's not. But hey, I'm in Canada, and we don't tend to get all don't tend to get all love here. So uh, yeah, you can basically you can browse apps, you can actually purchase apps directly from the desktop here. So it's 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 a really cool experience. Um, yeah, so. That's it basically for the Zoom desktop experience. This has been Jason Dunn from Windows Phone Thoughts. I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, please stay tuned for even more coverage. Thanks for watching. Okay, a slight addendum. It turns out why I couldn't get the sync groups for pictures is that right now I have it set to manual. I need to toggle uh, pictures to items I choose. 
and then uh, click OK. And then now when I go back into um, sync groups under uh, under pictures, I should be able to create create a new group. Uh, now I have a new group and what I should see is my photo collection. Yeah, so basically what I can do is I can say, you know, here I want uh, my new photos, that's the sync group. And I can say, you know, I, I want, I want uh, you know, one or more filters. So I can say, I want pictures that have been added to my collection, let's say in the past 90 days and I do not want to limit it. I want to basically have all of it. So what that means is all the photos that, that, that I've added to my um, the Zoom desktop software, I'm just gonna zoom out here, within the last 90 days, it's actually all gonna be added to um, my, my Zoom, and so now, sorry, my Zoom, <laughs> my Windows Phone 7 via the Zoom desktop software. And why that's really cool is that now that I've configured this, every time I connect my phone and every time I do that sync, I'm gonna get all my new photos pulled down. So I'm always gonna have um, them accessible to me, which is a fantastic solution. So there we go, mystery solved. Thanks for watching.